Hello and welcome back to another video here on Meoni Games. This is the channel where I get to play pretty much what I want to when I want to, as opposed to the main channel of mine, which is all Final Fantasy related and RPG related. But today we're playing SnowRunner, or at least we're continuing my playthrough of this. I actually recorded for an hour before I realized that my audio levels were complete garbage. So we're actually going to continue from this. I'm going to teach you about the game and show you what I like about it. So essentially this is on the Epic Game Store. I purchased this with my own real money. They currently have a deal going on during their sale. You can get £10 off of something that you purchase. So I used my coupon on this and got it for about £23, I think it was, something like that. It does have keyboard and mouse support. Um, I'm using a PlayStation controller today, a PS4 controller, wireless, because that's what I enjoy playing with. And uh, yeah, I, I like playing any game that involves driving or cars or trucks, basically with a controller, because you can get finer adjustments um, than you can with a keyboard and mouse, in my opinion. So without further ado, let's continue. We are actually in Alaska. We completed the tutorial mission in the video that we couldn't upload. And uh, the second place is essentially it pushes you onto Alaska where you start off for the first time. The thing that we did last time is we actually got a trailer and we delivered pipes to this area to finish off a pipeline um, for a contract. But essentially here we are in our lovely purple truck. We've got a, like a scuba thing on it so that we can go through water. We only have like all-terrain tires. We don't have chains or anything. And we need to get about... I think it's 43 grand for a new truck that I wanted to. So here we go. This is what SnowRunner looks like. This is one of the maps, as you can see. The black blobs are actually fog of war that you can unlock by visiting watchtowers. Very Assassin's Creed-like, if you've ever played a game like that. And essentially, it'll unlock more stuff as we go. But we do have access to an absolute ton of quests. So we've got three major people, uh, GR Enterprise, Blackbird, and Morrison Mining. And you just click one of them and you've got like, what, port, uh, port polar base supplies, village deliveries on the top of the world, stuff like that. We've got all kinds of things to do. We also have side quests that we can do. Um, last time when I was trying to record, we found out that there's these little notepads, these little, you see this like notepad icon on the screen. You can actually visit those and there's optional quests that you can do as well. So today we're going to kick off with, I guess we'll do this one, Port Polar Base Supply, which is out there in the darkness. I suppose we might as well start here. Um, it says, we got a bunch of Brainiac scientist fellas that get their kicks drilling holes in the ice. They happen to be big customers of ours, so, we'd like having, so we like having them around. They ask for something, you deliver, you dig, question mark. No, we deliver, we don't dig. That's a different contractor. So to deliver to Polar Base, uh, presumably for these researchers, we need four bricks, one metal beam, and two fuel. Um, so let's go for that. I believe we should be okay with the size trailer we've got. So the fuel's over there at the fuel station. The factory probably has... Oh no, we've got a fuel station there as well. Does that mean we have to visit both? I'm not sure. And the steel beams uh from a warehouse or a factory basically we have lots of choices i think our best bet would be to get the fuel first and go deliver that since we're already up here near the pipes I'm not sure what this road's going to be like though we only have this little four before but we can actually make a little track here as you can see look we can stretch out a custom thingy uh and it's as simple as kicking the r2 button and you basically just map out your route like that. So let's go and do this then. I think we've accepted that. Turn the handbrake off. We're going to hold L1 and then press square to put all-wheel drive on. We're in automatic. You actually have to shift the gears, look, in this. Uh, low gear is essentially slower, but allows you to get up places you ordinarily wouldn't be able to. In the last episode, we did notice, uh, even though I couldn't record it and upload it, that... There is actual procedural damage, so I, I tail swiped my truck into a wall. I thought it was like a design feature that the lights were supposed to be slanted. But it turns out we, we completely buckled part of our truck there. Not too much of a problem. We don't seem to have impacted the, uh, the actual structure or the axles or anything. We've damaged the engine a couple of times in that first play session that I went through, like I tell you. I really wish I could have uploaded that. It was quite entertaining, but it is what it is. 
So there's our first checkpoint, our second point's up here. So it's as simple as that. But basically this game's all about getting from A to B, delivering stuff, helping build stuff. Oh, road closed. Oh, okay. Um, and essentially, what's this? New objective discovered. Rock obstacle. What's the task? Looks like we've got another rock slide on our hands. Time for you to suit up and save the day. A supplement of cargo needs delivering to the site of a rock site to help with cleanup. So that's something we could do. Or we could just do that later and walk around or drive around. We're going to try our best anyway. We should be able to get around this in this small little nippy thing. But that was the saying. So we, we damaged our truck a little bit. We did a little bit. We only did like the tutorial stuff, which was fairly basic, um, to be perfectly honest with you. So you've not really missed that much. Just me rambling and trying to figure things out. Come on, trailer. You can get over that. Come on. Come on, trailer. There we go. Simple. Who needs rock blo uh, roadblock fixings? Well, probably me later. But for now, I'm just going to go with this. So as you can tell, there's quite a bit of ice in Alaska. That's most, um, you know, redeeming visual feature in Alaska is, is ice. So we're going to try and avoid as much of that as possible. There is a sign there for bumpy bits. But this is just basically an ice slick. But uh, we haven't actually unlocked the chains for tires yet. So we're just going to have to make do with all terrain. I think these are number threes. They cost the majority of my cash. But if we manage to pull this off, I think we get a decent amount of cash. I'm not sure how much we get now. Um, what was the actual... There it is. Uh, we get... Yeah, we get 3,450 from that. The little stars are experience points on the quests. And the money is obviously money, but we can use to repair, upgrade, fuel. Because obviously at the bottom left there, there's a fuel meter. There's a damage meter for each of the components. Oh god, let's not smash this into a rock. That would be good. So we have to be careful. Last time we did upgrade, we got uh, fog lights and a front bumper. But we didn't get anything for the rear, which was my biggest mistake because we've already damaged the rear. It's always the case, isn't it? You upgrade the front of your, your stuff so you can take more head-on impacts. But you don't upgrade the back, and the back is always the bit that gets hit first. Quite humorous. I'm loving this game so far. It's certainly something you can play and just chill and relax with people. Uh, I believe it's co-op as well. Although they would obviously need to purchase the game on the Epic Store as well. So we've got a tunnel over there. Um, it can't possibly go anywhere, though, because this is the edge of the map. But we're nearly at the fuel station, I think, and the factory, as we can see there from, by those lovely little signs. It's the sort of game where you, you have to sort of just find your own entertainment, basically, as you go. What's this? What is that thing? What does that do? New objective. Is that a stopwatch? Okay, I'm sure that's... Oh, it's a contest. People say you're one of the best drivers around. Maybe, maybe not. How about a challenge? Oh, it's like a delivery and a timer. We'll definitely do those at some other point, but... I'm not necessarily confident to do that now, especially when we have a trailer and we have a mission. Just ramp over that. There we go, nice and easy. I had to check it out, though. Curiosity definitely killed the cat in my case. And it's certainly going to do the same in this game. So, it did say, like, there was a good idea to switch between all-wheel drive and not all-wheel drive, but I don't really see the point, personally, at this point. It's bumpy as heck. We should get some fuel whilst we're here. That's something that we should definitely pick up. Lovely. We were actually half-fueled as well, so that's pretty handy. Um... Just do a quick UE. So we need to get fuel. Uh, I still don't know how to do this. Manual loading zone is blocked. It is? Oh, it's because we're near it. Um, we'll just auto load it. There we go. So we need to deliver, what is it, two fuel. So we can get one from here and then get another. It's not hit the fuel tanks though. That could be... Uh, that could be crappy. So, see, look, we went near this little notepad document icon and it unlocked a new task for us. 
so we can do that at some point. This has added a lot of weight to my truck. Jeez. It's to be expected, but wow. So where's the where's the mm, the objective's kind of that way. I kind of want to go down this road and find a better road than this because that does not look fun. <laughs> not with these tires at least. We'd probably manage it, but it would take us like 20 minutes or something stupid. And since we have to do two fuel lots, then let's find a better route. There's God Rays. There is a full day-night cycle and a weather cycle in this game, as you would imagine. Yes. Can I just point something out? I was under the impression that America dealt in kilometers per hour. So why are the signs saying 35 miles per hour? Don't know. Leave a comment below to let me know if anybody's actually watching this, why it would be that it would be uh, listing the improper units. So this choice of direction has a lovely fast flowing river. We do actually have a snorkel. Um, I did upgrade for that. So we shouldn't be damaging the truck and the trailer is above water. So no danger of that. We are getting pushed a little bit for the current, but... If we put this in a low gear, then we should be able to save this. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. And switch it back into auto. And there we go. Nice. That's how it's done. Got a nice uh, spring clean on the bottom of our truck there. But yeah, the snorkel is the first upgrade I chose. It was a little bit pricey, but it's already paid off. I didn't know that we were going to need it quite so soon. Okay, so let's go down here then. I don't think the mountain path is going to take us anywhere near where we need to go. There's a factory this way. Usually factories would be what? Near a main-ish road? And if a polar station is going to be near a main road, then... It should give us... I don't know. It's spacious reasoning at best. But we do now have like a lake thing that we didn't know was there in a way. Like this whole river system. So maybe we needed to go this way anyway. Maybe there wasn't a bridge. The game likes to push objectives on you, like building bridges and stuff. In the tutorial mission in this game, you had like a bridge that you had to build. And you had to bring steel beams and wood, basically. And they just tarred over the wood, put the steel beams up and built a bridge, which is a unique way of building a bridge for sure. So we're just absolutely blasting through this slightly. It's like frost bitten dirt ordinarily i would imagine in like another region this would be really wet and horrible but it's dried look it's like frozen ground quite nice to drive on uh so what have we got here so that's actually the factory and as you can see it does look like this road down here goes to the polar base on this side of the river it's this road right Wait. Yeah. It's not so much of a road, though. But it does say it goes to town. If you're going to have a polar base, you're going to have it in a town, aren't you? Otherwise, you're just going to freeze to death trying to get your groceries. I've always wanted to go to Alaska ever since I was a kid. It's always fascinated me, the ice, the snow, and the hard way of life. And believe it or not, Certain parts of Alaska have way better internet than where I do right now in England, which isn't hard. I mean, everybody's got better internet than me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody I know has better internet than me. But I live in the middle of nowhere. But then again, Alaska, middle of nowhere again, most parts of it. And I still have like, what, 30 plus megabit down. I'm currently playing games and enjoying FF with a 10 megabit if it's feeling generous down and less than one up and I make a YouTube career which is kind of ridiculous if you think about it isn't it but I do what I can and dedication and willpower is everything that you need when it comes to content creation and I do my best but this channel is letting me blow off some steam very literally since most of the games seem to be on the epic game store that I play recently Pun intended. Ooh, let's go into a low gear there then. Water over road, it says. Ooh. My choice of direction might have just scuppered me a little bit. 
My sense of direction usually doesn't let me down, but... I think we're about to come into a bit of a situation. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Um, water in the middle of the road. You should actually say not that. You should say not that there's water in the middle of the road, that there isn't a road anymore. That might be a better terminology for that. Anyway, we've got a snorkel. If we can get past some of the mud, then this should loop around. Right? Right? Oh god, that's quite deep. And if it's as fast flowing as it was earlier, it does appear to be like there's an objective over there. There's like a trailer. There'll be like a, a task to probably recover that trailer later on. I love how there's so much stuff to do. You just have to sort of look around for it. Again, the snorkel is coming in really handy here, apparently. Really, really, really handy. We're not going to break out the winch just yet. Yeah, we're already in all-wheel drive, buddy. The tooltips are, are trying to be helpful, but... Again. Slow and steady. We're going to keep it on that low gear. That's the reason we have it in it. Uh, we are a little bit stuck. Okay, we're going to get the winch out. So with a winch system... If you've ever played like spin tires or um what's it called mud mud runner yeah that's the game then basically it's the same idea you can winch to objects and then let go of a winch and then in theory in theory that should have helped um we're gonna choose this one let's winch up to that that was a tree that we're winching to i think we just destroyed that tree uh, well, there's not really much choice, is there? We're just pulling trees down. <laughs> uh, this might have been a really, really, really bad choice of direction. Switching it to auto is not really going to help. Um, let's think here. If we winch this to that, like that. Then it'll pull us out of that horrible mud. Get onto this heavier terrain like that. There we go. So it gives you a lot of environmental puzzles um, to deal with. And a lot of the stuff you can only prepare so much for. Like I've shown. Before you just have to start winching. You end up burning through your fuel the more you sort of rev your, you know, your truck. Which is obvious. We've got the day-night cycle, so it's actually getting a bit overcast now. Oh, we're stuck again. Of course we are. Um, we could winch to that, maybe. Probably better off with something like that, though. Pulls out the reeds. There we go. Really? That's not enough? That's surprising. I honestly thought we were going to be fine there, but okay. Um, yeah, we could winch to that. We're going to inch our way forwards on the winch. Inchy winchy. Even the snow is going to be better, right? Than the dirt. There we go. It's all wheel drive, so we do actually have a little bit of pull towards the front. If this was just rear wheel drive, we'd be here forever, obviously. Uh, switch this to auto now. We need a little bit more horsepower. That was a really crap way to go. I don't think we'll be going that way again. It was clearly the... Uh, the shortcut, quote unquote. Got another task here that we can unlock if we go near it. We should pick that up, I suppose. I don't want to knock the guy's wheelie bin over, but I think it's inevitable. Oh, we got a little bit of lag there. A lost tube. What? Uh, hello, name's Robert. A big fancy new pipeline is being built in the area. I know, we've contributed towards it. One of the subcontractors operating logistics has lost a section of pipe. We need a driver that can help. Well, we'll figure that out at some point, but... How'd you lose a pipe? You saw the size of that pipeline at the start of the video. It's enormous. Yeah, dear. Let's get through this deep snow that we totally didn't want to go through anyway, but oh well. Come on. Come on, Trucky. Come on. Don't get stuck in some snow. 
Don't do this. How is it deeper there than it is there? Come on. Come on. Pull. There we go. Now we've got a bit of traction. So is it that way or that way? Well, the polar base is literally right up here. Okay. I think we'll get fuel from somewhere else, though. But that's the that's the, the way of the game, though, isn't it? You have to scout these things out, usually, and figure out what you're supposed to do. But yeah, this is very therapeutic to me. Is this the polar base? No trespassing. Well, tough, really, isn't it? If you want fuel, I'm going to have to trespass. Just saying. And why does the delivery point have to be in the middle of some snow? That is my question. There we go. Uh, there you go. Take my fuel. I need one more fuel, a steel girder, and some bricks. Okay, where can we get the other stuff? So we can get the stuff from the factory whilst we're here. We'll do that. That is what we shall do. Let's put this in... Um, in reverse, please. There we go. Just reverse that back. Because the factory is just around the corner, isn't it? In fact, it's just over there. Jackknife the trailer a little bit. It's fine. It's a trailer. What's the worst that could happen? Let's try not to take that guy's fence out, though. That would uh, be annoying. Come on, power steering. Where are you? For goodness sake. My car has better power steering. Are we really stuck? Come on. We really dug a hole. <sighs> that was annoying. I didn't see it. So it's dark now, so we can put our headlights on, which come with fog lights. Which now illuminate the entire existence of mankind in one blinding flash. Look at that. That's ridiculous. But incredibly helpful, as you would no doubt agree. Let's go and get the supplies from the factory then. I, I would imagine that's where we get the steel from. Or the bricks, actually. I'm not really sure. Um, we were supposed to go all the way around, but we're not going through that waterlogged crap hole anymore. Can we even get through here? In actual fact, the waterlogged crap hole seems to be, like, the best way. Um, we can remove all of these waypoints. That seems a little bit... Hmm... Can we try to go through here, like a shortcut? We're going to try it. Um, this will probably end very badly for me. But a waterlogged crap hole is slow anyway, so... Let's just carefully edge our way through here and get a new... Abandoned supplies, okay. Um, go past the little boat that's upturned. Oh, it really is dark. Look at that. Look how dark this is. Wow. I've not seen how dark Alaska is at night now, but wow. Because Alaska is like, there's so many months of a year that are, you don't have darkness, isn't there? If I remember correctly. And then there's so many months where you have complete pitch blackness. It sounds fun to me. And cozy. I don't know why. I've always been one of those weird people who likes the absolute dark and absolute light. I think of all of the extra stuff you could do. If you had infinite light. I mean, I don't sleep very well these days, so... I'm fairly sure that would be quite fun. We're not making any progress, are we? With this so-called... Shortcut that I've... Pretended to create here. Hmm. <laughs> this is rather suboptimal. In terms of shortcuts. I was kind of hoping we could winch onto one of the trees. But it was just like. Not having it was it. Oh, we don't want to winch on that. Why are we putting winches on stupid things. Okay. Oh. What was that? Oh I see it's behind us. So there's nothing to winch onto yet. <laughs> Switch to a low gear I guess. Yeah I'd. Something tells me this isn't going to happen. Yeah. I think we screwed it, boys. I mean, we're moving. Actually. But it's not... 
it's not great. <laughs> as much as I'd like to sit here and keep revving towards one direction, unless it gives me a winch point. Uh, if we actually selected the right winch point, of course. Oh no, we do have a winch point. There we go. Let's pull our way that way with a small branch on the floor. We will make it, but we'll probably not come this way again. So really, we do have to deal with the water then. That's kind of sucky. Right, what else have we got here? Yeah, we got a Christmas tree. We're going to pull that over in half a second. But it'll provide us with a little bit of pull. There we go. Nice. Where we got next? There's another Christmas tree over there. Oh, we can go for that one. That's a nice... Oh, well, that... We destroyed the Christmas tree. Christmas is, is over. Thanks to Mione, of course. If I just toggle the winch... Oh, we destroyed the tree again. Keep going. Pull that tree down. Yeah. We're going to make our way a path. We'll never be able to go this way again. But on the plus side, we will get to the destination eventually. Well, at least to the chain link fence. <laughs> that will no doubt stop us. Okay. Let's see. What else have we got? Have we got any more winchy points? Hmm... Let's try... Where's the ma Where's the cursor? There it is. Let's try that one. Nope. Um, where's the cursor? Oh, it's over there somewhere. Jeez. Just like toggle the winch. That's not where I want my winch. Uh... We're going to have to go up, aren't we? No? If we winch to that tree... There we go. We just crush this one. Please let me winch onto those massive trees. Or, like, the metal. Uh, that's better than nothing. It's a nice big tree. Drag me through... The darkness. Right, let's see. Can we... Yeah, we can winch to that tree now. Lovely. Nice thick stick. That doesn't seem to be buckling. This is the probably the slowest way of ever doing this. But the fact that you can do it... Makes me incredibly happy. Uh, let's not smash into the actual thing. Do we actually have any traction? We have some. We do actually have some traction here. That's pretty good. Let's keep going with the winch then. Um, there we go. Provide us with a bit of extra pull. Oh, wow, this really is quite a dusty snow, isn't it? Not sure why the camera is wigging out, but that's fine by me because it's actually quite helpful. Okay. Can we pull our way along to the next one? Yes, we can. I feel like Spider-Man. Just keep finding places to sling a web to. <laughs> Can you imagine doing this by hand, though? In real life? Oh, yeah. Every five seconds, I'm applying a new winch to somewhere. I think there are some people in real life that have, like, a... They have, like, competitions, don't they? They put, like, a truck in the most ridiculous place possible. And then they have the task of winching it out. And that's the whole thrill of it. For some reason. But, you know, each to their own, I suppose. It is quite enjoyable to do this. It's not the most laborious thing in the universe. But then I like a good grind or, you know, something to to work towards. I'm not the sort of person who likes things handed to me instantly. So, we did it, right? I mean, we're here. This is a trailer store. Ah, we're supposed to go over there. I see. But a bit of an FPS drop there. Like I say, my computer's not the best. Seems to be having a few issues with this game. Not enough space. Oh. I see. Are we going to need a bigger trailer? That's going to suck. 
Okay, how do we ditch the trailer? Detach, there we go. I'm sorry, trailer. There we go. For some reason, I couldn't change gear. The gearbox was... There we go. Oh, it's because we were still on the menu, I'm um, potato. So we need a bigger trailer. Um... Which, of course, we cannot afford. We've got that. That allows for carrying of two. So what they're saying is you can only get two here? Really? I find that hard to believe that you can only get two of those girders. Or does it take up two slots per? Is that what they're trying to tell me? trailer back on okay so we need we need a bigger trailer then that's kind of annoying not gonna lie so I guess we have to do other jobs before we can afford it anyway what's this a factory has lost a trailer okay whereabouts is said trailer are we tracking the correct thing uh, lost tube, abandoned supplies, lost service trailer, which is all the way up there. Let's start tracking it then, I guess. Um, we're going to have to detach the trailer that we have. All right, okay, this is turn up for the book. So you have a lot of stuff that you have to do to get to where you want to get to. Perhaps I should have read the size of the objective before I picked up uh, the quest. Hindsight is a wonderful thing, but I was under the impression that everything you could pick up was something you could do there and then. We're very low on fuel as well. I just realized. And we can't get up a damn hell now for some reason. Are you kidding me? quite surprising to me that we can't get up this but there we go there we go come on get some horsepower going come on it's not mud we can get up here it's not the end of the universe trust me it is a bit steep though Jesus Christ that that is a little bit steep but it'll be all easier to come back down with right so let's just get up there Get up there, get the trailer, come down, deliver it, get the money, then buy the trailer, maybe? I didn't really see how much it was worth, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, go with that tree. We will get up here, if it's the last thing I do. I'll put the handbrake on quickly. Because we don't want to slide down there, do we? I think that was a good thing to do, perhaps. Really is like playing a Spider-Man game. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, there's another objective. Can we actually get the bloody cursor back? Thank you. Wow, this is ridiculous. Let's go to a low gear. Whoa! Oh no! Oh. Um. Why can't we... Why can't we winch? Oh, it's because the engine stalled. So the winch is not operative. You can actually upgrade that, can't you? Oh. <laughs> so here we are we've completely failed we're on the side of a hill basking in the moonlight let's turn the headlights off no one wants to see that 
Um, so my objectives here... Oh no, we haven't got another truck in the area though, that's the problem. Our truck's in Michigan, where the game starts. Uh, and it looks like such a smooth ride as well, look at this road. Oh yeah, that looks exactly how it does in real life. Yeah, of course. Sure game. So my option here is basically to recover the truck, which spawns me right back at the garage. Look. Unbelievable. So we're all the way back here at the, the, the truck store. And the service trailer is all the way over there. <laughs> oh, no. What other quests have we got here? We've got oil... So you need a, a, a fuel carrier for that one. The rock obstacle requires a metal beam. Again, like... You're going to get a metal beam from the factory. Uh, so we can't really do that one. Containers in the river. We need one with a crane on it. Service thingy, an off-road truck is recommended. I wish I'd actually read that. What's this one? North Mountain Conquest. Oh, that's the racing. Oh, flip. That's not great, is it? We've got a polar supply thing. But I believe we can pick up more than one quest, right? Oh, they're locked. So we have three choices. Oh no, we have more. Okay. Fire in a barrel is to deliver two fuel to a port. That's doable. That is actually really doable. Um we get we get some small cash, but that's fine. So we go to the fuel station, which in this situation is like over there. Okay. Right, we are determined to do one mission. <laughs> If it's the last thing we do, again, I'm not sure how much of uh, of this we're going to play today, considering we have just like, we've just lost a trailer, haven't we? Oh, for goodness sake, we put a trailer in that crap hole. So we're going to have to pick up another trailer. <laughs> God, I'm never going to make any money in this game. I keep le leaving things in dumb places. Okay. Uh, we can't even afford a trailer, so... Let's hope you can put fuel in the back of this truck, otherwise we're screwed. Otherwise we have to go and recover the trailer from that place. And then go all the way back. Oh, you don't need that grates. It's fine. Who needs fencing these days? Not me. That's for sure. Whee! Look at this ice. Oh, wow. That's... I've overcooked that. Jeez. So we've marked a rough map location for the fuel station. I mean, I should be able to put fuel in the back of this, right? Maybe? Oh, God. Damage the suspension on a small pebble. Lovely. Uh, wolf group. Lovely. Yeah, we're really rocking it without a trailer on. Jeez, this thing's lightning fast. Isn't this the scene in, like, a movie where the guy is, like, really confident on the icy roads and then he sees a deer, tries to avoid the deer, then flips over a million times and explodes? That's usually what happens. And then there's, like, this sad storyline where there's this woman who inherits this, like, farmhouse from this guy who died. She doesn't really want to be there, but that's, like, her entire inheritance. And it turns out that she slowly becomes accustomed to the area. And she's like a, a town or city person. And everybody looks down on her and says that she can't do anything. And then she gets stuck into it and then figures out that she does actually have a green thumb, so to speak. And we went the wrong way. That's like the plot of every, like, mid-90s American film. Now I think about it. Isn't it? Or love story. She meets, like, this guy... She tries to impress him by being good on the farm instead of, you know, packing her bags up and going back to the city. 
Yeah. I've seen so many of those films over the years. They just all sort of blend into one. It doesn't make them bad. It's just... That's what I grew up on. My parents were always watching that kind of film. They still do, actually, to this day. They've pretty much forgotten what they've watched. That's something that just happens with age, I think. I'm not looking forward to that part. Oh, come on. Every area I go to has a massive obstacle in the way. Yes, remember. Oh, yeah, we do actually have all-wheel drive mode, and we haven't got that turned on. Not that that did much, though. And low gear is just like, hey, yeah, it's slow and annoying. For goodness sake. Ah, what you have to do for winchings. Can I please have my... There we go. That'll do. Oh, we'll just break the tree in half. That's fine. Just get me over the ridge. That's all I really want. There we go. No. We've definitely buried that wheel now. <laughs> oh, no. That's not fun. Uh, Can we have a cursor, please? Where is the damn winch? There it is. That annoys me to no end, actually, on controller. I'm sure on keyboard and mouse that would be fine. Why is this so deep? What is this place? Look at that. Look at those peaks. It's like I'm making, um... Blumange or something. The hell that is really deep. Unnecessarily deep. It's like a sinkhole's forming. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can take. Oh dear, I just want to reset everything and just start again. But for goodness sake. This is so annoying. Incredibly tedious. I'm making this worse than it needs to be. Come on. That's it. You pull that tree down. That's fine. Get me off this bloody mud. Come on. Come on, game. No, no. Come on. My only winch points are like in space. What about that one? Can we go for that one? It's like a really far away tree. It's kind of roughly where we wanted to go anyway. Look how deep this snow is. Oh my god. Come on. I need a bigger truck. I really do. That's why we were like, oh, let's go and do some really easy missions, he said. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, he said. Meanwhile, truck is like bottoming out on just snow and ice and it's compacted to the point where, you know, if somebody died out here, like the previous truck delivery driver, you would never find him. Not in a million years. Also, my character seems to be bobbing up and down quite a bit here. I don't know if you can tell. He's either listening to some really funky music in that cabin. Or he's having a seizure. Just due to the stress of doing this all day. <laughs> can you imagine? I feel sorry for all the truck drivers and stuff that watch my videos. I know a couple of people that watch the Final Fantasy stuff that are truck drivers for a living. And that's it's such a cool job, in my opinion. Hats off to you if you do that for a living. But this must be the most painful thing in the universe to watch. Some completely incompetent idiot taking this horribly small truck way out of its league to do missions in the incorrect order. Yeah, I'm sure this would just trigger anybody at this point. Here we are then. Here's the fuel station. Oh, is it like a fuel tank? Can we just grab some fuel? Of course not. We need a trailer. We can't afford a trailer. This... I hate everything. There's no way we can do it then. We need a trailer for any of this stuff. I've single-handedly managed to bugger up the game. Yeah, see, we need large stuff. Off-road truck required. Oh, well, recommended. But you need trailers to carry any of this stuff. I can't fit it in the, in the cab. The only thing I have as an option is to go back to Michigan and pick up the other truck. 
I literally have to do that. Uh, the other truck is... God knows where it is, actually. Um... We actually have more trucks here now? Really? How did I not see this before? I'm curious. What truck is this one? Is this not the big delivery truck that you see there on the screen? Can we just, like, store this in the garage and bring it with us? Because that would make things, well, not in all places, but... Wow, look at this thing! It has no trailer again, but... Wow. Out of fuel. <laughs> so this is something that you can upgrade over time then. It has, like, broken everything. I see. We also have the GMC MH9500. Which is where... This is where I left it, by the way. But... We could... Recover this truck. Into the garage, right? Retain the truck, then we can switch back to Alaska into the garage, yes, like so, another loading screen, and we should be able to get this truck out. Ah, this is going to take a while. I mean, I've got absolutely no money to do this with. The truck itself is worth 32000 as much as that's quite tempting. So can we actually do stuff with the tires on this then? Okay. They're locked, but we could do it. Hmm. So this is really not... Um, yeah. Well, we need a snorkel for this thing, clearly. Because of all of the underwater stuff. Spare wheel, eh. We can't get the extended one. Wow, look at that. You can put a crane on the back of this or a flatbed. Um, wow, that's pretty cool, actually. What's this? Maintenance frame. A seismic vibrator module. Wow, fuel tanks, look. So we currently have this bed on here. We can actually put a crane in as well, look. Oh. oh, is that how you load stuff? Okay. We only have 750 bucks. But we do have a massive truck. It can't go off-road very easily. But. What's this? I've discovered a fuel station. That's lovely. Right, so what, what quest can we do here? Um... We've got that fire in a barrel thing to get fuel to a port. Yeah, so we need we need to get to a fuel station. This one's in the middle of a crap hole. Um, but it is the closest one. We're gonna go for it again. We're gonna give this another go in this much bigger truck. It's not built for off-road, but at the same time, I mean, it's got a much, much, much bigger ground clearance. We don't have all-terrain tires on this. It might struggle. But we actually have room to stick stuff on it, so there is that. As opposed to, uh, you know, the fact that we left our trailer in the middle of nowhere. The fuel economy in this one isn't great, as you can see. We're already burning through the fuel. Look at that. Look at the rate of burn. Oh, my God. Oh, bit of a jackknife there to be expected. That mud really, really, really annoyed me, though, on that previous attempt. This whole thing has been one disaster after another. But you can see the process, though. Like, you have to work towards something in a different angle. Efficiency is real key. Apparently, this is the most, like, inefficient way of doing anything anyway. I think I've proven that point. We're not going to go that way. Just sounds like a terrible idea. There must be a north path to the fuel station as well. It might be worth checking out if the truck turns, that is, of course. We well, just ramped into a barrier for no reason. 
Okay, so that's where we went last time. Which turned out to be kind of not good. This way goes round. Oh, it goes such a long way. Nah, we, we gotta do it. We gotta go through this mud. The other way is too far. Or at least... Come on. Really? <laughs> I got it stuck already. Of course I did. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go, Mr. Truck. Now we need to reverse, though. We'll do auto-reverse. Yeah, come on. It's fine. It's only a bit of mud. At least we're not going to be in the danger of flipping this truck anytime soon. Or at least I don't think we should be able to. It's only rear-wheel drive, though. As you can notice. But it should have a few more horses to throw into stuff like this, I think. It's bigger, it's chunkier, has a bigger engine. I'm confident that we can get it through here. Nah, maybe not. We've got the same problem again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, let's see. That one. Yes. Now, don't destroy the tree. Oh, we got lag. We got massive lag. What was with that lag? I like how I'm just snapping all of the trees until one of them finally lets me have the uh, purchase. <laughs> Maybe we should just go straight across here. Maybe that's a terrible idea. Hmm. goodness sake uh winch no not that one no i want the blue there we go why was that so hard to find um try that but it looks like it's not gonna last too long come on pull the damn truck this mud is so deep my god I thought I would have learnt the first time, but no. Okay, we need a new winch point. That much is clear. Um, that one. That's a pretty hefty tree. We should be fine. Oh, I'm going to drag this through the snow, whether I like it or not. We should be able to get the fuel in one go, though. That's, like, the big point. In theory. We need to make at least one single delivery in this entire episode. Goodness sake. Um, it's another tree over there. We could use that. Come on. Come on. Keep those revs high, please. Let's switch to winch. No, not that. Oh my god. Yes, yes, that tree there. The one in, in, in the front. Perfect. That is the tree I need to aim for, I think. Oh, God. It's therapeutic and stressful at the same time. Great way to let off steam, but at the same time, you're going to be uh, second-guessing everything every five seconds. We haven't got enough purchase to be able to do it ourselves, though. That's the problem. And for some reason, we can't winch to that. I don't know why. Yes, we can. There we go. But that's taking us the wrong direction. For some reason. Come on. Let's put it in low gear, then. Does that work? Low gear is complete trash. Look how deep this is, though. My god. That's like four foot of snow. Absolutely insane. I mean, we are making a little bit of progress. The tiniest of inches. But it's burning all of our fuel. I didn't even press the button there. What the hell? Stop auto-winching, game. All of the places to winch to. Some of these are terrible. Let's try this. Come on. Come on. 
There we go. Come on. Keep the throttle up. There we go. That's what we're looking for. What an ordeal. Jeez. It probably would have been faster to go all the way around. But then again, if it's more of the same crap, then yeah, maybe not. Come on. It's a bit of frosted ground. Come on, game. Okay, this side's a bit more muddy, but... I know we're heavier, but it's not that bad, surely. Back into first gear again. Come on. I want my fuel, damn it. I'll do what it takes. The little truck that could... Well, the little truck that could is currently out of order. It's complete garbage. Since we left its trailer in the abyss. That would have been the perfect way of doing it as well. A nice light truck with a trailer, but no. We had to go for the stupidly ridiculous objective first. We're going to need more fuel whilst we're here as well. Jesus. Okay. So we've got one... Oh, yeah, look at that. Two stacks of fuel. Oh, yeah. That's the size of the truck that we need. Look at that. Beautiful get some fuel for the actual truck whilst we're here just burn the rest of our money there we go goodbye money we're not going through that crap hole again we're gonna go to the port we're gonna go i don't know we're just gonna go this way and hope for the best i am not going that way with extra weight no way it'll take me another 20 minutes to just pull my way through it there's another side objective that we're going to ignore Please tell me this isn't like a warning sign with water or something. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, well, we're going to go for it. I don't know if this was a good idea. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're a little bit on the heavy side. Um... <laughs> We're going to make it. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's got rocks. Ooh. Oh, actually, the rocks are pretty good. It's not spinning on the rocks, though. That's good. Well, that's half tempting to use the entire river to get to the, uh, get to the port. But we'll go this way, regardless. Note to self. Rocks at the bottom of a river with a snorkel equipment actually really 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 good i mean it's not super fast but it's not struggling too hard getting out is going to be a problem i think no well here we go mr truck you did good there is that a path is that really a path i don't think there's a good idea to take this down there not with all this fuel if it rolls over and explodes we're dead right <laughs> Oh dear. Alright, let's keep some horses up. We're in third gear. There's an oil field that way. Explains why we're exporting so much fuel then and not importing it. What a place though to get your oil. Jeez. Alaskan drilled oil from one of the most inhospitable places on the planet. Love it. It's fascinating, isn't it? The scenery is beautiful as well. Okay, we've got a nice little bit of a, a downhill section. Is that a road I see? An actual road of some description? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to hope that this road loops around that direction to the left. This truck was built for roads, so in theory we should be fine, apart from these are ice roads. Um, is that a crane? Oh, wow. Look at this place. Damn. Huh. Okay, there's another little road. It looks a bit dirty, but that's a promising sign that it actually goes the direction we want to go. I think the orange signs all mean water, don't they? Or no? A detour. 
But we're not going up the hill. That sounds like a terrible idea. There's a bit of mud here, though, so... Come on. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, that's suboptimal. Uh, we've got a tree that we can winch to. Please tell me the mud doesn't go all the way over there. Because that would... Uh, that would suck pretty bad. Oh, dear. Pull on that tree. Come on. We are going to deliver this damn fuel if it's the last thing we end up doing. Don't care how long it takes. Well, I kind of do because of the upload speed of my uh, my house, but... <laughs> there we go. We've broke the tree. The winch is gone. If we stick to one side of it, maybe it'll be easier. So that works out at 7.2 liters per minute. I've just realized what the fuel gauge actually stands for when it says the little numbers that are moving. My god. I still think this bit with the snow is going to be better than that bit without the snow. Perhaps. Oh, that is not a good bit of dirt to go through. Jesus. <sighs> We've made a mistake, haven't we? We discovered a warehouse, though. That's a bonus. Use this tree. Come on. We're just going to have to use all the trees. If it lets us, of course. Nope. Uh, what about the hard tree that it won't let me select? There we go. God, that is not somewhere we want to be. We do not want to be in the middle of that if we can help that. We're going to end up there anyway, I think. God damn it. That one. We're just looking for firm places... There we go. Keep those revs up. Come on. We're going to be making more dirt paths, though. But being in that sounds like a terrible idea. I'd rather not... Oh, it's sliding a little bit. We just go over the, the harder ground. I mean, we're going to make it terrible for future visits, of course, but... If the procedural tracks stay, I don't know if they do. Does the place where you've previously driven stay how you left it, or? It's a good question. Okay, let's see if we can winch onto something. Take this tree out as we do. Okay, we're in a bit of a gully here. That was probably not the best choice. Because it's full of dirt. Um, can't reach anything on the other side of the road. Uh, Jesus. This one then, I guess. That kind of works. A little bit. Please tell me, yes, we can winch onto another tree. This doesn't look like a stable tree, though. I like it. It's just like automatically winching onto crap now. Trying its best. <laughs> um, low gear. And then push forward as best we can, I, I suppose. We can roll it that way. Does that help? Oh, sorry your fuel's delayed. I, uh, I kind of went down this place and got a truck stuck in... Well. Yeah. And there's nothing over there because the range is garbage. <laughs> um, I mean... Literally only have a couple of options, so... It wouldn't be so bad if we could get through this place. 
Maybe we have to reverse out of here. I don't think that's going to work, though. We're just digging ourselves a bigger hole. Um, let's think about this. We could use the other truck, right? Which is over here. Uh, yeah. If we switch to this truck, which is a lot more sprightly, as far as I can tell, and just power it over to that place, we could winch the other truck up that hill, maybe? It's worth a go? Come on. Really? This is kind of annoying me now. There's no reason why this truck shouldn't just skip over this frozen ground. think right all wheel drive on i mean that made a big difference actually i didn't realize it was off my bad so the water wasn't too bad for the other truck and this has got a snorkel on it as well so in theory it should be fine maybe uh come on it's not that much mud get out of here full throttle there we go. Find some purchase on the pebbles. Come on. If big truck can do it, so can you. God, struggling, isn't it? Jeez. Maybe even with the trailer, this would have been a terrible idea. In the, uh, in this truck. Interesting. Everyone just sailed through here, didn't it? Oh, well, there we go. We got a bit of purchase. Not too much, though. <sighs> At least they fixed the back of the truck there. There is no dented fender. That's something, I suppose. What a nightmare this has become. Just like real life. I can imagine that this line of work would be just, well, time consuming. It just seems like you get nothing done in a long period of time. There we go. Right. Can we please get over this crappy mud terrain? Come on. Stick to the side. I think that's the fastest, right? We're in fourth gear, so that's not too bad. Just knock the sign accidentally. Come on. Really? It's not even that steep. It should sail up here. It should. There we go. So this goes down to that little mini town. With the warehouse that we discovered. And then we take a left at the crane area. We shouldn't be too far behind the other truck, in theory. What an absolute nightmare, though. And if this thing can't get down there, we're screwed. Basically. Whoa! That's fine. Bit of drifting. Never did anybody any harm, did it? Oh, God. Pick up that task whilst we're here. Trailer park. Okay. We Woo! That was fun. And now we're onto the crappy road stuff again. Brilliant. Even though these are off-road tires and should be absolutely fine. So the reason we didn't go up there is because, well, it's steep as all hell, right? Oh, apparently that did damage to the engine. <laughs> Who'd have known? Um, steep as all hell, we'd have to winch all the way up, and there's no guarantee of what's even up there. This, however, is just dirt and mud, so in theory, it should be a, a viable option. Should be. But it's so peaky, look. It's so sticky. I see the truck from here, so we didn't actually get that far, did we? Thinking about it. I think we're following pretty much in its footsteps. It is a lot lighter across here, so we probably would have been fine with the, uh, with the fuel load, maybe. 
we are a bit stuck now though uh, that's that's not ideal ah what a nightmare and that snaps instantly brilliant no I didn't mean that winch again uh okay that tree there we go winch across there I think we did this last time didn't we this is just so muddy it's ridiculous detour my ass all right um let's follow these footsteps if we can the tracks from before and then we need to winch the big truck from further up we should be able to get further up than the big truck in theory it should sail across some of the heavier stuff maybe there's not much clearance though that's the only problem which is i mean look at how badly i got that stuck if i had gone across here it would have been okay maybe but then we had to use the winches anyway worst scenario we get both trucks stuck best scenario we get past the other truck and we can winch it oh there we go 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 recovery function we're not using the recovery function screw that let's go up here then um and then attach a winch to the back of the truck onto that one whoa i think we need to get some purchase oh my god it's just pulling us back i thought this was going to be a good idea but um is it actually working are we making any movements we are actually moving it it's slow but it is actually moving slightly kinda <laughs> Oof. oh wow that's a big hole actually jesus Come on. And it's moving kind of begrudgingly. Maybe we should use the winch um, on the front. Onto that. Pull that one forward. Ah, God on this side i think yeah so then we're pulling the side that's actually kind of stuck a bit deeper there we go come on come on it's moving oh it's happening it's slow and not ideal but that is happening to some degree come on truck we will save you that fuel needs to be delivered oh we're actually moving at a decent speed then Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. I think we're good. We might be able to just do it normally now, but we've got the other truck here now, so we might as well help out a little bit. It looks like it gets worse anyway. Let's make sure the fuel doesn't smash onto the side of one of these rocks. That would be uh, kind of suboptimal. What an amazing game, though. The fact you can do this. Oh, there's more mud. Brilliant. Of course there's more mud. Why would there be a break ever given? Get this out of here. Tell you what we'll do then. Um, we'll take this truck and we'll put it over here somewhere for a second. Oh, my God. Oh, that's really deep, actually. Oh, okay. We will switch back to the other truck. And just try and plow through that. Because that looks like a terrible decision. We'll go nice low gear for the horrible mud. Because hopefully that gives us better traction. 
instead of a tire spinning crazily. This is going to get buried pretty quickly in the mud though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't feel like this is going to be a very comfortable journey. Where on earth are we even going? Look how far we have to go to the port as well. This was like the worst decision probably anyone could ever make. For goodness sake. How much can we winch then? Where can we winch to? We can winch to a tree nearby. You know what? Screw it. Go for it. Oh my god. That is really deep, actually. Uh, that tree. We can do it, truck. I feel it. I feel it inside. We, we can do this. Maybe. No, this isn't looking good, is it? Um, let's rescue the other truck. <laughs> it's on 50% fuel already. Okay. Winch to that little twig there. Okay, twig's gone. Wow, that is really not good. Look how deep that is. Holy moly. I think we might have screwed this entire mission. This is so deep. Oh my god. You can pull to that though. Just something. It does seem to get muddier though. We can winch to the truck, of course. Truck, you must help me. It's like two trucks helping each other right now. Kinda. Why is this water flowing so rapidly? Where does it come from? It's like we're in a river. Look at it flow, that current. What the hell? Okay, we might be able to get this truck through here. Might. Oh god, it goes on for ages. What on earth? Okay, right. Uh, is that going to be in range? Probably not. Mm, that'll do. Come on. Come on, truck. We're not abandoning you. You're worth precious, precious money. And we invested a lot of time into this. Probably too much time. Come on. There's a good truck. We're going to get over this fjord thing as well. Oh, my God. Come on, buddy. Move. <sighs> what the heck is going on? I'm just digging holes underneath this little truck now, look. Look at that. I've dug a massive hole straight down to hell. <laughs> it's just not budging, is it? It's just not budging. Let's try again. Are we within range? No, not really. Okay, that hole is huge. Just saying. Let's try pulling this side. It's closest to us, right? The angle, that is. Pulling the winch doesn't really do much. Actually, it does jolt it a little bit. Interesting. So we're actually jolting the tension on the wire, which is actually sort of like pulling it a little bit in little hits. Look, look at that. Well, that kind of works. I wonder if that's an actual tactic people use. 
it's traveling at a decent pace, so we need to keep yanking, basically. If it gets too close, though, we're going to end up smashing up the truck. Like that. <laughs> okay, we'll take that off. Uh, we really need to get ourselves across this river somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that. Come on. Can't be that deep, can it? Really? Is it really that deep? What have I done? Is this track only supposed to be designed for, like, ridiculous trucks or something? <laughs> um, I'm failing miserably. This is so stressful. Oh my god. Uh, we could winch to, like... That one. My plan is we're going to get to the other side, back up a little bit with reverse, and then use the winch to get the other truck across. Whether that will work, I have no idea. But it's the only thing I've got, right? Okay, let's switch to the other truck now. Um, <laughs> what is that? Hold on. What is that? Royal. There's another truck to be discovered down there. That's interesting. Um, okay. Let's really, really see if we can get this in here. Come on, chuck it in as far as we possibly can. I want this as deep in here as possible. That might be as far as we can go. All right, okay. Yes, so we can we can winch onto that truck a little bit. That might be enough to kind of pull us a little bit further into the river. We are now a boat, by the way. Okay, what else have we got? We can winch to a tree, like we did before. That's alright. Okay, right. And then we switch back to the other truck. In theory. Take the handbrake off that's apparently on. That's, that's great. Perfect time for a handbrake, to be on. We need to winch ourselves up here as much as possible. Oh, come on. It's been crap. What's it doing? We can reach one of those trees. That is music to my ears, actually. It's not perfect, but... Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Right. Okay, we got purchase. You know what that means? <sighs> Need to get as close to without going too close. And put the winch onto... Let's put it on that side. And then we're going to give it all we've got, basically, to get it up here. This is going to be fun. We're going to keep doing the snag tactic by like tapping triangle occasionally. That might help out. I'm not sure. Come on. Come on, you beast. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. Please. <laughs> Please come up here. Come on, boat. It's making it. It's kind of getting there uh, a little bit. Kinda. We're running out of fuel, though. Just saying. 
We're at 24 liters. Mm. All right, should we try winching it up here itself in a second? Come on. All right, let's take this up here. There was that other truck, though. I'm not really sure what that, where that is. I can't really zoom in enough. It's over there. Okay. That's interesting. So there's something hidden over here, then. There's no guarantees that that would even be functional. Right. Um. No, it's actually over there. Wow. <sighs> okay, game. <laughs> it's because I put the the coordinates in the wrong place. So it's like over there. It's actually up the river. Whatever this is. Oh, here we go. New truck discovered. It's right there. Oh. Is it functional? Oh, it's not functional. It has like broken bits, right? Oh, it does function. Oh, no. That's amazing. Uh oh. Uh, let's try that in reverse then. So basically the gearbox is screwed. Can't really see crap, to be perfectly honest with you. Is it because we're stuck against something else? Where the hell are we? This is really, really tricky. I'm struggling here. Um, let's see. How can we get that out of there? Hmm. I guess we could try and winch that out, but it's going to be quite tricky. We should probably stick to what we're doing at this point. Or what we're trying to do, basically. Uh, God, can I get this thing out of here? So it's still going to have to be a winch then. But we can winch onto that tree. That should give us a bit of purchase, maybe? some. It's not a lot. Drag it onto that tree. No, that didn't work either. It's such a sluggish machine. Jesus. No, I don't want it to go too far that way. That's not a good idea. That's why I was trying to winch on the other side. Come on. Oh, goodness. Put the headlights on for a start. All right, have we got enough? There we go. We can probably do this now. Kinda. Although we've got very little fuel left in either of these machines, and we have this to come up. Really? Look at this place. It's ridiculous. I'm starting to think we should have gone, like, down one of these paths to the port. We've gone this long-ass way for no particular reason. How annoying. My only hope is that this actually pebbles at the bottom of the water, but of course there won't be. It will be mud again. I think we have completely failed this in, in many regards. I'm not sure if we can be bothered to go all the way around that way. I mean, we've made it quite far, but really not that far, if you consider that it's probably more of the same garbage. My only hope is that there is, like, respite over here. 
we could try it, but I'm I'm about ready to give up, honestly. There's very little to winch to. I mean, we could winch to that. Nope. I mean, that puts us in the right direction, kinda. Slight tugs on that there. Let's see. We'll go for that tree. That's. I mean, we might scrape a little bit against the rocks here, but I mean, what have we got to do, really? It just seems like there's so much more water to come, though. That's the problem. It's going to take forever to winch all the way across there. Yeah, actually, I think we're going to leave it there, mostly because we've been recording for quite some time. I need a little bit of a break. But yeah, next time I will probably be at the port. I don't know. That is probably the most mind-numbing thing you've probably seen on YouTube ever. But yeah, thank you kindly for watching regardless. I'll let you know if I do more of this. And if I do, I'll probably try to plan it a little bit better. But thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Jesus, that was crazy.